Greetings, great dear friends, lovers of freedom, IPOB, one family, one family, IPOB. We are here again, Coastal Biafran TV, today being the 1st of August 2021. We are here to propagate the gospel of God, gospel of freedom, freedom for our people, freedom for the people of Biafra. And it's our religion to, to talk about things that is happening in Biafra land so that we will not say that we are not aware. That will not say that we are not we are not being told. That is why we come here every day to preach the gospel of freedom. And we preach it under IPOB, under the leadership of our great leader, Manzi Unande Kano Ohamadike Onyedu, one of Biafra land, our leader. And uh, that's why we say it's our religion. Biafra is our religion because we do it every week. We do it every day. We do it every minute. We do it every time. Just like the Muslims go to their mosque to worship and the Christians go to their church to pray. And we IPOB, we are saying that Biafra is a religion because we are not free. And it's only Biafra that we give us that platform for us to be free so that we can now worship God in the way we want to worship. Because right now, we can't say we are worshiping God. Even if you are a Christian, as we are speaking right now in the contractual called the zoo, your life is at risk because the full and ninja we terrorists, jihadists, and hesmen, they are there looking for Christians to slaughter. In fact, this hashtag eliminate all Christians in Nigeria. Hashtag, you know, convert all Christians to Muslim. Hashtag Islamize the entire Nigeria and implement Sharia law. That is why we are saying since POB, sensible beer friends. We all know that for us to be Christians or Jewish or Omina La Ordinal, a traditional worshiper, we must have freedom. You must have freedom of worship. Because if you don't have that freedom of worship, there is no way you can exercise it and worship your God. So we want a country, we want a nation, and that nation is Biafra that will give us that right and privilege for us to be free to worship whoever and whatever we want to worship, not in a country where they are converting Christians to. To, to Muslim. In fact, all over, if you have to be a senior president in Nigeria right now, they ha you have to convert from Christianity to Islam before you, they can even allow you to be a senior president or even a rep president, a, 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 a house of a speaker of, of rep. It is quite unfortunate that these things are happening and a lot of people are keeping quiet. In fact, the entire Christendom are quiet, the traditional rulers are quiet, everybody is quiet, our politicians are prepared. It is only IPOB led by our amiable leader Mazina de Kanu that have stand you know toe to toe with our enemy and say never never will the people of God be subdued to perpetual slavery and poverty and that's why we are here again and uh, my name remain Idudu Uvyemuno and Isoko speaking Biafra before we go ahead I would also like to pass the microphone to the other of our comrades starting from up uh son of IPOB take the microphone make a short introduction before we go into our today's item. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. My name is Siri, man, son of IPOB. I'm a Biafran. I'm from uh, Esa. I'm the Esa come from uh, the land of uh, Igodomigo, and Igodomigo is Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. My name is Tigeman Soluma Singba. I am a Biafran. I am from Ibake in Agbo. Ika speaking Biafran, Igbo speaking Biafran, Ohe Biafran. Thank you. All oh, hail Biafra. I feel be one family. Yeah, my name remains Onajite. Onajite Higo. On a detail, Hugo is an Urubu and is all speaking Biafra. Almost surely hail Biafra. And um, let me say this Urubu land, his own land, is the land of Biafra. We are true descendants. We are son of the soil. So we are not associating with Biafra, but by nature, by birth, 
And in reality, we are dear friends. Thank you. Yo, my name is uh, Tom Norton Gosville McDonald. I am from uh, Okrika. And uh, it's your tribe in Biafra line. I remain as a strong IPB. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much, comrades. All here, Biafra. All here, Biafra. We are here. You should know it is your duty. What we are doing, it's a duty. It is not an office. It is not an assignment, but it's a duty. It's a duty for every sensible IPOB in the world to do the needful to support IPOB. If you are there, you have money. Of course, I need, I'm not saying you should send to us. You know where ESN account is, and you know those to contact to to donate to ESN. And very soon, I want to make it a public announcement. You know, uh, fundraising uh, platform. Not here. Not yet. I'm not saying it's not. It's going to be open. So. Don't say that you were not being told. Oh, I didn't know. I for, I for one give before. No, excuses are not taken before because even on the judgment day, according to the Bible, when you when when the bell rang and everybody is in a, uh, somewhere in the sky and uh, they are opening the book of judgment and uh, you happen to go to hellfire according to your record, you don't have to say, oh, it was just a little that I see for I was usher in the church. No, they will push you into hellfire because that day there will be no excuses. That's why we, me personally, I don't take excuses for people. Do what is right and let us move forward. Now, like as I was saying before, we have to be strong, we have to be uh, resolute, and that is why we are IPOB, our leader have taught us to be tough at every time. Uh, we know we are in a very uh, you know, difficult time, but uh, uh, very soon, you know, the light will shine after the tunnel. Uh, we have our topics, uh, you know, uh, we have different topics, some coming from you, some coming from other comrades, and we shall treat them as we go for forward. Our leader have, you know, you know, urges from where he is in the DSS uh, uh, custody that we should remain resolute and we should remain united and we cannot afford to be distracted. I read an article today when I was uh, on the social media, someone posted and uh, the person said, and I quote, that uh, there is no type of dist distraction, you know, that what's what we are doing. So what is means that whatever issue it might be, to cause distraction, to begin to quarrel in IPOB, to begin to call names and all those by biting in the public domain so that the Janja we will look for something to laugh and to hold on to. We IPOB must say no to it. We must say no to it in every way, especially when it's on the public, when it's on the social media, we have to be very mindful of what we are doing. Now we go straight to the point. Today is the 1st of uh, August 2021, and with the Coastal Bia France uh, comrade, should I say, journalists in our own way, we are here to do it once again. And from the DOS, which this platform that our leader, Mazina De Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra has set, uh, you know, he has put them in place to run the affair of Biafra, even when he is not on chance, just like he's been heard by the Nigeria Janjaweed contraction, uh, Fulani Janjaweed people. Um, sit at home will be going on across Biafra land. I repeat. Sit at home will be going on all over across Biafra land, starting from on the 9th of August 2021. On the 9th, every Monday, I repeat, every Monday, as far as this Biafra land is concerned, as far as man walks upon the surface of this earth, every Monday will be set aside for a sit at home in solidarity with our leader incarceration in the hands of the Janjaweed. And nothing is going to stop that until our leader is being released. Until our leader is being released. On this note, I'm also putting Biafran politicians on notice. Anything they know that they can do, they better do it now because we are not going to take it like with them. They shall pack their load and look for somewhere in the north to go and hide their face because uh, they don't know what now they cannot meet to us. They don't know. And uh, there will be no place for idiots. And there will be no place. And I know. Sorry, let me quickly ask this. Are we streaming live on uh, Coastal Biafran TV? Am I right? Yeah, yeah, because it's appearing different thing to me. Yeah. Uh, let, let, let me let me shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Please, can somebody help confirm this? Let me just try to confirm. I just pray it should be. Um, pray. <laughs> let me shake, please. One minute. It better be. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's on Kusubiyafan TV. 
Then why is that from my side? Then you have to check your is it is you okay. can trust me with that. Yeah. Okay, right on. Yeah. So like as I was saying, I have already put our politicians on note. Uh, they can take it for granted do, but when is we come? I beg, I beg, no good day, because uh, even on that judgment day, God does not take excuse from any, you know, should I say, uh, somebody that don't, you know, hack into the voice of the Bible or the preaching of Christ. And um, some people, before I hand over the microphone to our comrades, starting from the son of IPOB down, as some of our people, very stupid enough, you know, mostly from worry, yes, mostly from worry, mostly from Mugele, mostly from Mozoro. Our uh, people, mostly from Bayesa, uh, in Agua. Uh, some of our people, mostly from Igodo, Migodo. He presents uh, do, uh, Ile Ibinu, Miss Blood. And um, our people, uh, you know, in Calaba, uh, uh, some of our people uh, across, they will say, hey, go, come on, Isha. We go, we're not going to do this one. We will not stay at home. My brothers and sisters, it's like you will use your head to wet the ground for a blood-sucking Nigeria because it's going to be very... You know, you know, it's going to, it's not going to be easy. It's not, it's going to be very tough. So, you know, the, you know, the, this one thing, we are Bia France, and uh, you know, for now we have the coastal Bia France, we have the interland, which the Igbo, uh, which the Igbo have taken the lead, uh, you know, and of course they should do it because they have the more population. And I know somehow, some way, the, 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 the so-called nigger data, which is the coastal Bia France, they are so stubborn head and foolish and the, sometimes very idiotic, and they will be like, oh, we are not Bia France. Yeah, yeah. My brother, when Onisha not close, you know they come Onisha every year close. That is how it's going to be, you know, it's going to be done. Once Onisha is close, every year don't close. You are not going anywhere. That means everybody comply. So I will hand over the microphone to the person of uh, son of IPOB from Igodomi Godo. Thank God, these are the people who want to liberate the Ile Ibinu Miss Blood in Igodomi Godo land. Thank you very much, and uh, you know, uh, touch on this topic. Oh, hey, Bia from Uh Thank you, my brother uh, Idudu of Yenumu. Okay. Uh, let me tell all this, our brothers, uh, Elaine, bring new means, bro. Let me tell them when the time comes, they will feel the heat, you know. And uh, let me go straight to what our brother said. Uh, on the 9th of August, they must be shut down in the whole Biafra land. If you like, disobey and collect and collect the peanuts you deserve. Everywhere must be shut down. Our leader must be free, must. Be free. Igodomi Godo is Biafra. Down to Ebanke, down to Izon, down to Robo. We are Biafrans. Okay? We must be free. It is time we all must be free. Uh, uh, it is time we do the we do the right thing. And the right thing is about to happen. On the night of uh, August, everybody must be shut down. Shut down the whole Biafra land. It is time we give the zoo what we as what we have keep what we have put in stock for them, okay? So all my brothers, all our brothers, uh, Igodo, Izon, all our brother Biafrans, we all should prepare that uh, we must be free. Those who let Bini miss blood who are saying they are not Biafrans, they should go to hell. When Biafra comes, we will pack them and go and and go and deposit them in the uh, uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, Yoruba land where they came from. They are not from uh, Igodo land. So we know them. Okay? Oh, he be from Uchineke. Thank you very much. And I will move to the next person with our sit and the person of uh, Simba Solomon. Close the microphone. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. Let me be sincere with you. You know, uh, we love our own. We love our people. You understand? We don't take decision as in making it without making our people know the weight of the decision we are taking. I remember, although I was not born at that time, I remember during the time of Ojuku, the war of Ojuku, Ojuku said something that all the Easterners should go home. I remember I when my father told me that some people refuse to go home. In that case, those people were used as sacrificial lamb. Those that obey Ojuku were not killed. They were no murder. All those casualties you are hearing, they are killing many. Um, over. There are people that refuse to go home, that disobey the order. When we be Africa, this is worse than Ojuku. This is the full. That uh, it was the coast. It was the 
the Italian, that is the Eastern region. Now is the full Biafra region. That's why we give an advance warning, an advance warning that we don't want our own to fall into beating. At that day, there will, that day, there is no, there is no time. We don't know you. You understand? People that will enforce this, this, um, this uh, jurisdiction does not uh, want to hear your. I, because of this, you understand? Have you ever seen, you ever hear, I want to give an example, Agbasa. Agbasa, there is a feast they are doing in Wari, I was born in Wari, it's called Agbasa Feast. You understand? Agbasa's feast, because the the prince of Agbasa is close to us at his layout there in Wari. So, anytime he's going for bush, he will spend 14 days in the bush. When he's coming back home, he don't he has to, he told his family, everybody, nobody should come close to him. That this this time is coming back home. It's not on his, in his sense. Anything can happen. So that was how the feast is being conducted. But unfortunately, that day, when he was coming back home. It, 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 his, his son, the last born, came, was not conscious. He came to come and, Daddy, 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 Daddy is coming. Welcome, Daddy. Do you know what he said? I will use that language he used. He said, Oh, no, no, na na mi ke kere kufia. Oh, no, no, na na mi ke kere kufia. He said, Magada. And so he cut the head off, drank the blood. At that day, they don't know if it's his son. The thing is moving. And so I'm urging my people, please, 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 for them not to be casualty of disobedience, they should obey because this is big. What we are looking for is bigger than the suffering you are suffering. We are looking for a Biafran where you will be free, where you will have social security, where your life will be guaranteed, where you have protection, you have all social amenities which we have in Europe. So you are looking for a very good country. And this country, the, where we want to take it from is not, is Janjaweed. So you know Janjaweed need force and it need power. It need authentic because they have sponsor of terrorists in Europe. President that sponsor terrorists. The, most of the European president sponsor them because they love the, the, the slaveness of the black people. So in this case, Ed will rule, please don't make yourself to be a victim because obey a simple command and you are safe. Thank you very much, my people. God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, 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 Simba Solomon, uh, for the analysis uh, that you have uh, given. Uh, you know, our leader is a great man. And uh, of course, the Nigeria government are playing the role of Pharaoh. And of course, head go rule. Uh, the head go rule. Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria will drink their own blood. Of course, they are going to drink their own blood. And uh, I like the, you know, the adage you make, you know, you're attached to the whole thing, you know. When they tell you, say, make it sit down for us. If you say you'll be, you'll be Jadon or you'll be Rambo. Okay, come out to, if a uh, Nigeria government with the agenda will system or shoot, they shoot you. Your manager, this is how it have to go. My, my, if they tell you, say, you must open your shop, just like they are doing to the timber market somewhere in Enugu. I've been in somewhere in Imo State. Then they say, my, I can't open, no. But if I can't open, they can't shoot me. Go. You give them excuse why you can't come to open your shop. That you don't know what a fly bullet might come. So please, I'm sitting at home. Please. And that also go to our useless, uh, should I say, useless politician in Biafra land. When, when Fulani, are protecting their bandit, protecting their terrorists, Mietic Allah, Fulani has men. They are from politicians. They are, these guys are the most useless people I've ever seen. What we are even doing is out of all these things that these people are doing to us, we are not even agitating because we want to agitate. They are killing us. We cannot be staying in a country where they will be. Are, are we meant for, are, are we onion that to be sliced? Anyway, let me go to the next person as I hand over the microphone to our brother. Um, uh, 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 Haka Solomon. Thank you. Sorry, you did do. I am Kingsley Haka. 
He always say Kingsley or Solomon. Sorry. So sorry for coming late. Uh, I'm supposed to be here before now, but I had an appointment. But I thank God that I just quickly come in. Yeah, as regard to this uh, ghost town that is uh, being uh, announced, uh, it's a good thing because uh, our leader is not a, an ordinary person that you can just hold and uh, expect the billions and billions of people around the world to keep quiet. He's a, very, he's a great man. And uh, in our land, he's supposed to be our king. He's supposed to be our Biafra king. So he should be accorded with uh, respect. Uh, whatever the zoo deserve, we will give it to them because uh, uh, already they have been killing us. We are no more afraid of death. The 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 Janjaweed, the Wike, the Rocha Sokrocha, and the so many other people who are in the Biafran in the Biafran territory who think that uh, we are slave to them. Uh, when that day, when we as we've mentioned that uh, the, everybody should stay at home. I think uh, we are not joking, and uh, uh, we shall rule the, our territory, Biafra, because we are the youth. Our destiny is in our hand. So no matter what Edward Clark and uh, his co are saying, we are not uh, listening to them. The only person we can listen to is our leader, Mazen and Carlo, because uh, he has sacrificed enough for us, and this is why we should accord him this respect. And uh, there is no, there, we cannot apologize to anyone, any foolish person. So we are, we are out, and uh, we know that uh, our life is at stake, our family is at stake, everything about us is at stake. So no going back until Biafra comes before we can be able to have peace. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you very much, the person of uh, uh, Kingsley from Iquiri. And uh, I love what you say. Our leader is a great personality, and we must treat him with great accord. And uh, to that note, there will be a ghost mood in the entire Biafra land, starting from uh, this uh, uh, 9th of August, 2021. And if we continue so, until our leader is released, I'll go to the next uh, comrade, uh, Onajit Ego Robert. Um, sorry, uh, um, please, can you come again, please? Then I go to the next comrade. Uh, we are still treating on the seat at home, the ghost mood in Biafra oh. land. Okay. Yeah, uh, sorry for that distraction because I was like um, fixing some things as the meeting, as uh, the program is going on, I'm trying to fix some things. So that was, that was the reason why Shilais have been carried away. Um, so, uh, in fact, I'm not really feeling strong as as it is now. So, um, of course, the sit at home will be obeyed. The sit at home order will be obeyed because whatever the DOS says goes, and um, they are the custodians of this very movement. No any other person. No any other person. No matter who you are. No matter the role you've played before. No matter the role you're playing now. No matter your position, the decision of the uh, of the HOD still goes until they proved otherwise. So we all have to follow whatever they say. We have to do whatever order being passed out by them. So it is a must. It is not whether or how. It is a must. Just do it as they have ordered you. You do as you have ordered, and that is how. IPOB works. That is how IPOB um, um, function. And those of us who have been, you know, something that leader normally says, he said, I will not disappoint you, but you will be the one to disappoint me. Not until you collect money from Fulani Janja Week before you can disappoint our leader. Not until uh, you dine wine with the enemies before you, uh, before you disappoint our leader. Not until those things happen. But when order is being given, you refuse to follow that very order. When order is being given, you 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 flood the order. It means you are already disappointing our leader. And once you are you are that type, you are not going to be taken serious, and you'll be dealt with because we don't we will not even tolerate 
anything distraction in this great family. No matter who you are, no matter the position you you occupy, no matter the role you're playing, either now or in few, or, or, or before now, you will be dealt with accordingly, according to rules and regulation of IPOB. It doesn't matter who you be, wherever you're speaking from. That very order must be obeyed. So if you don't obey the order, know vividly that you are part of those who are already disappointing our leader. And of course, you may disappoint a man, but you can never disappoint the God that called him because even the God knows you. Because even the Bible says, I, I hear my brother starting the program with a Bible quotation. The Bible let us to understand that even when Jesus told Peter, he said, you will deny me three times. Peter said, no, I will never deny you. I be hardcore. I go die for you. I go collect bullets for you. I go do this for you. But he told him again that you, Peter, you will deny me. You will deny me when the problem comes, when the enemy came to uh, come and take me away. You will deny me. He denied. But at the end of the day, the prophecy come to pass. And this is exactly what is going on in IPOB today. So if you are part of those who are going to buy into this, I am sorry for you. No matter your sacrifice, your, the what you've sacrificed in the past, it doesn't count anymore. Because it, it, even the Bible would make us to understand that many were called, few were chosen. Not all those who started the race will finish it. There are a lot that will wither out of the road because that is where the capacity get. That is where the capacity reached. That is how. That is the last uh, battery they can use to function. And I can assure you, either you function or not, the family will keep on moving. And those who are steadfast, because this is the order from leader. If those who he put in power fail in, let it be the responsibility of, of our leader. Because he told us to trust them. He told us to obey them. He told us to work with them. And so far, so good. We have not had any information from our, uh, from our leader in the DSS custody that, you know, prohibit all that, all that come against all the, uh, uh, the current leadership, which is led by Marazi Chika Idozim. Whatever Marazi Chika Idozim says goes. Maybe some people, you are very, you feel very irritated to call that name. You feel very irritated to speak that name loud and clear that he is our leader currently as we speak now. The supreme leader of IPOB remains Mazen Abdikado, but the current person directing this boat now, the current person commanding these very soldiers now, it is Mazen Chika Idozim, which we all must obey. MNK has said it countless times. He has said it before now. He said, even when I'm not around, even when I'm not around, the rules doesn't change. Everything still remains the same. That this has been one of the reasons why he says that it will take the zoo and those working for the zoo, either winning or outside that POB, it will take you 100 years to destroy IPOB. And before the 100 years will come, IPOB has already built a foundation of 500 years. So as you are pushing, as you are getting to 100 years, you start another race for 500 years. I can assure you. Thank you very much. Ever, ever succeed. And let me say this. So those who are within the family, of course, IPOB is one family. But in every family, you must have bastards. And if you count yourself as part of the bastards, if you see yourself or you put yourself in the position of a bastard, who do not know how to bring all the house or the family house to be strong, who do not know how to bring, bring the, his father's house together, you decide to make yourself as the enemy of the house, as somebody who is ready to tear the house, or somebody who sees this as an opportunity to strike against the house. I can tell you, you should go back to your paymasters that you have failed, that IPOB is unbreakable. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. I just want to address an idiot, uh, almost in his sake. I don't know if the idiot is still, work, is still watching. Uh, that, let me, let me, we are not, uh, we put everybody here. Let me bring it here. I wanted to delete his comment, but let me put it. His name is, he's even as I have of my name over here. Let me remove the idiot. Uh, he's saying that, uh, I'm going to delete them. 
Then no, I didn't want to delete I don't delete the message. We learn by fire, by thunder. I didn't delete the message. He's saying that uh, since uh, we claim data state is part of Biafra, come to data state and uh, enforce the law. What is this idiot? No. If gone shot, co -co 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 -co, you as you did toss that idiot, you, wherever you, you, you come aside. See the idiot. All the other people I need to push up now. Oh, my idiot. I, I want to address this idiot and put it, and every other idiot from data state that is having this similar foolish mindset. I'm addressing all of them together. If you hear gone, they shout, if you talk, it is not to call your country, the call they say, we not the call, 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 what we are now is in, we are going to give some of this idiot show of force as as far as ipop is concerned as far as biafra is concerned and as far as the contraction called the zoo is concerned if they refuse to let us go we are going to give them what they need it is called action for action and some of you like these are the illegal binu of data state of course some of you, you will use your your blood to cleanse the land it's called cleansing you are you are going to use your blood to consult the gods and clean that foolish idiotic a set of idiots everywhere all over all over the whole place talking garbage anyway i'll get to koa koa is selling selling land now to full and he has me now free of charge you let us see this idiot come here to commit rubbish i don't know i don't know rubbish if i i give the microphone to our brother tamuno madonna i want to uh, touch a little bit concerning what najiti was saying concerning the deals first of all when uh, i got the news deals said uh, that uh, started from the night i was so angry i was so angry that oh it's too long I was angry. Why? Why not just this Monday? Tomorrow will be Monday too. But sometimes it is good that we prepare ourselves. That we prepare ourselves for the task ahead. It's not to so just rush enter. It is preparation. Sorry, sorry for, please, can I just make a comment, please? You, you can make a comment. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I was in hurry to quickly drop the mic. There is something that Mazichi um, can say, which is the head of the directory. He said. We cannot start something that we know that we will not sustain. We will not start anything. Anything you hear the DOS pronounce, know that they will sustain it to the last. So I think maybe that was the reason why. They, anything, they, I, what I just know is that, or what I just believe or suggest our people is, just let us work with the leadership. Let's work with the leadership. They have done it before. So why are we panicking that they won't do it again? Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Onajite. I was almost running up to hand over to our brother, McDonough from Okrika. And I'll say it again. When the DOS said that he's starting from on the 9th of August 2021, they locked down across Biafra land, which, of course, every idiot from Wari, every idiot, from Asaba, every idiot from Yunagwa, any idiot from Igodomi Kodo, Ile Ibinu, any idiot from uh, from uh, Igwasha or Portakod, if you want to call it, that if you are just making noise, and eh, once on each other, lock, everybody will be. On each other, they control Biafra land. Okay, all this idiot when I call, so I say idiot. All this idiot when I call, so for this nigga that I saw, eh, once they not come on each other, their life not they revive the music scene. And once we lock on each other for Monday, my guy, you go stay for your house. Meaning say, whether you like him or not, you don't obey the seat at home command. And for that idiot and other idiot in data state that are talking rubbish like this idiot that came to write rubbish, you know, when you go here, cuckoo, 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 guy, now your safety, now you go they run for. You say, let me go, they just say, IPAB, uh, be right. down, and you know, that this and I, we don't put it really. For you say, we don't knock it really for a year. We don't hear, we don't hear any when they complain. When you complain, tired, you go tired. After all, now they complain about full and you're not tired. Now go tired. When we happy, we give, give on our, our own madness, eh? We now go tired. Uh, and secondly, again, I got information from uh, within the Anyoma, uh, Anyoma and Onyosha that uh, they are not telling them now. Full and Nigeria with and they are going from church to church, telling that they should open their shop. Nobody should sit at, sit at home. They are going to write people's name that are going to sit at home so that they will deal with them, lock them up. That means they are going to force them, right? And the person also told me that he's noting, he's noting down all the sabotage. He's noting that those people who are trying to work all those ways. So these are the thing. It's going to be called they were a tooth for tech or TikTok. You know what I mean? So what good for the kids is good for the guy. So since you are working for Jenga, we to say that people who want to lock their own shop should not lock their own shop, 
we're also monitoring you. Your life will also be at stake. I won't say more than that. You think we're here to, we're not here to preach any type of peace because even the kingdom of God was taken by violence, not by peace. Thank you very much. As I hand over the microphone to the person of uh, uh, McDonald, Tamuno. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Idudu. Thank you very much, uh, my comrades. I appreciate you. I'm not so happy to join. I am Tamuno Tonye McDonald, the Okrika Biafra son, a Joe tribe in Biafra land. I'm not going back. No apology to anybody. Why we are going to obey and honor the sit at home every Monday is because we see light in the man they arrest. So any other giving about Mazen and the Kano must be carried. They like it or not, must be carried. Why I'm saying this? The so-called uh, politician in uh, Biafra land, or let me say uh, the so-called uh, Niger Delta and uh, uh, Eastern uh, uh, region, what have they done for the youth? What have they done for the youth? After you finish school, you do this, you pay this, you run for this. Or at the end, you become a beggar. What have they done? People believe in Nam Dekan because they saw the light, the truth in him. If any of the politicians or any of the so-called Niger Delta leaders, let them call a meeting or just uh, 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 give an order whether it will be carried. In Nam Dekan uh, order, follow your world. They like it or not, follow the world. They say the most hated person is the man that's saying the truth. Is the man that's saying the truth. E.K. Clark, the 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 is a a, a jaw uh, uh, with a jaws. Uh, we cannot uh, be part of uh, uh, Biafra. Say now they can just uh, making us. When the time comes, and you should come and tell me that me I'm not part of Biafra. You, you can, uh, uh, um, uh, what is the name? Sir? Edwin Clark. You should come and tell me that. I'm not part of Biafra. When the time comes, we will know how many votes we get. Or we order me not to uh, 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 vote for Biafra or the, uh, 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 the politicians. So everybody must obey that. Sit at home, obey. No going anywhere. Why people are following Inam Dekano? If really Inam Dekano is not a, real, uh, a, 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 a genuine man, people will not follow him like that. It's only him that fighting for the masses, not even only for the Biafra. He's fighting for uh, 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 our class. He's fighting for the Europa. He's fighting for even the, some Fulanis to be free. And you, uh, when you, uh, you need the money, uh, you would say, uh, we, we, we need to control our our our, our oil. Our oil is, uh, uh, we need to uh, control our oil. Are you controlling the oil up to now? They need money, they will go and sell all sorts of things so that the federal government will recognize and give them a little money. We are suffering every day. You so call Niger that they are calling, you are suffering every day. People are, are suffering, dying every day. No good hospital, no good room, nothing. And they don't care. The only thing they care is uh, they with their few boys. They go and get money, pocket themselves, uh, 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 send their brother to somewhere uh, uh, and make life. They don't care for others. Then you are telling me that I should not follow the one that fighting for the masses. That person must be mad. That person need to think twice. All these useless so-called leaders we have in uh, 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 the uh, uh, eastern region, they are so foolish. They need to think twice. People are ready to die for Nam Dekano. People are ready to do everything. But who with that, them, they should give order whether people will follow them. So, Everybody, I'm begging everybody to obey that order. And in short, me, I've told my people, they should obey to the end. That is the only man that you can sacrifice for. Only man that we can do everything for. Not all these useless people. They call yourself a, a leader. Call yourself a, 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 a Sasa leader. A Ninja Delta leader. Foolish, useless, idiot people. So, my brother, I thank you very much. Let me not... Uh, uh, pro, uh, thank you. Thank you, Madonna. Tamuno from Okrika, you just, uh, you know, said it as a son of Okrika, of course, representing your people in the land of Biafra. And uh, talking about the old man, uh, what was he called? Uh, the Clark Edwin, and uh, doesn't have his own name. We have to know if this guy is uh, even from his own land. And talking about that, they, you know, in Nigeria government had to use people to enslave every other person. 
The idiot nobody know for Isoko. The idiot nobody know for Urubu. The idiot nobody know for Kalaba. The idiot nobody know for Ibibu. The idiot nobody know for Anioma and Yosha. If you call it, they go speak for your face. When you say Nigerian government, when they just call her, they all carry and go Shanes TV. He will just speak. Hey, I'm the leader of. He <laughs> will just generalize. Like say we know for we don't know for Isoko Lando. We don't know the idiot. The idiot know who is controlling. Somewhere just some little few person in his own. And they just give them security. And that's how they have been loading it every, over everybody, you know, making it to look like a uh, idiot. We don't know this idiot from nowhere. We don't know him. Nobody knows him. But you know, you know the way Jenya would use people. And uh, come to Channel TV, let us interview you. Just say that you are the leader of the Niger Delta. Am I even a Niger Delta? I don't understand. The last time I check, I'm not even, I don't even know what it means. If, if it's an identity or a region, I don't know. So these are what we have been facing in, in the so-called contraction. We had we just call one old fool and we make a very rubbish statement, trying to, you know, you know, like say it to cover every other person as if we are part of what River Rubbish is doing. You understand? So this is it, but uh, all those things he's talking, just talking quack, 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 because as far as I'm concerned, I have said something that data state is like a glass. Naya data is like a glass. Or should I say salsa is like a glass? Once it is broken, it cannot be amended. Because as far as I'm concerned, and your man are going, and your are going, Ika are going, or she are going. Ibanke are going. And we so we are going. And once these so are going, robot be like, ah, what you will do now? They, you know, the Urobo is not going to attach with the Shekiri. Urobo is not going to attach with the zone in the data state. So you will be like, okay, because it, it have say what beside that what beside that is so called politician or uh, traditional ruler that is going to do one mango mango. I go burn my life on your palace. Go the kill him. So, so they don't have any option. Once we break that glass in data state, that's the end of it. We'll break the glass and the glass must be broken. We go to our next topic, which is uh, also in data state. Yes. And uh, when we say also in data state, it doesn't mean that it's only in data state too. So we know that it's in river state. But yes, sir, I quite you boom. It's just that maybe you have not put your ear or ground more. Uh, Fulani, Governor Okowa, if I Okowa, have given our land to, hey, don't set. I've given our land to Fulani Janja weed. The same thing that all Jews of Kalo did in Aba, that is causing chaos in Aba, that Fulani have taken over some acres of land in Aba, the same thing Okowa is doing in the other state. And uh, let us not forget to, oh, in Igodomi Godolan, in a uh, present uh, do, I it's not as if I was told or I heard. I watched the video where the useless idiot, or uh, what was it called, Baseki, they say it's a governor. He was, you know, do you look at the way he was trying to bend down to those Fulani that were sitting on the ground, talking to them. Uh, you people don't have to do open ranchi I will look for a place and give people land that you will set to so that you'll be doing your ranch. I has already given the Godomi Godo land to Fulanio. It's like we that one didn't make the news, but I saw the video. The video is not today, it's, it's almost like three months now. I said I watched the video. So a land have been given. We are all this useless sefulefu in our land have been given our land to this ginger weed. And we are all for a very big mess. That is why you know what? There's something I I, I that came to my brain that we are going to either destroy nigeria or destroy even the biafra land or will repair it it is two things so that i'll say biafra or debt debt or biafra one thing must happen one thing must happen because and that's why we are saying that everybody must cooperate everybody must cooperate so it will come easy but if you won't cooperate we will destroy it alongside and we don't owe anybody an apology for that now our land in data state thank god they have not uh because before they will give our land in Isoko to any funani they have to come and consult the Soko people because uh, Okowa is a governor, but he doesn't have any useless access to come and take any land in Soko in the man. Amayo got destroyed for that. So you have given Oshimili people's land, and Yoma and Ika and, uh, and Yosha, you have given their big land to Fulani. And Fulani are even demanding more that they need more than 50 acres of land. Or they don't say. So I have to give the microphone to the person who is at the top, um, uh, the person of, uh, um, let me go by Madonna again. Uh, these are the issues going on in data state right now. Madonna, you are at the top, so we start from you at the top. Oh, uh, thank you again for giving me this opportunity again. Uh, you know, we have uh, leaders that are a little liberal uh, leaders, chicken hearted uh, leaders that are afraid, afraid of the danger with the fuller needs. The only person that I know that standing firm for his people is uh, Autumn, Ben State Governor. And uh, the killer machine, sometimes he say good things, sometimes he uh, 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 talk, uh, uh, go this way, he talk the, the person of a uh, wiki. You, now, for example, for not, 
nobody go against their people. They support them, whether they good, uh, they do good thing or they do bad thing. They give their support. But our people, no, no. Even they're ready to kill their children, give the uh, gender away. Any little thing, they check, they check back. You are the governor. The youth, if you are doing the right thing, the youth will back you. No matter what, they will back you and fight the battle. But because of the 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 the, the soul they accept to, to the gender weed, they literally think they don't want to uh, those little little they are getting to uh, 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 remove from their mouth. The the shiva anytime they uh, talk to them, the shiva, which full animal? They don't have rights. Okay, they they want land, they want land, they want land. People don't want their land. You want people's land. You want people's land. How about your own land? Then the full animal. How about your own land? So okay, so what I'm saying, our people they should stand up and fight. I was so happy when they said that the uh, southern governors came together and said they will stop Eruga and all the rest. The next thing, this governor going this way. The next thing, this governor going this way. This governor will go to APC. This is, I, I don't know the kind of leaders. I don't even call them leaders. I don't even listen to them because they are all of them. They are a bunch of fools. They are useless. Little threaten, they will fear. They, they held meeting together. Uh, as soon as a uh, 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 northern governor say uh, this meeting they held is for this is a fight against a uh, 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 adversary. If so, do this. All of them begin to shiver. But not they are being holy meeting all, every time. Nobody go against them. So I don't know the kind of uh, the kind of uh, charm. I don't know the kind of uh, is it the meat uh, the cow meat we are eating that is causing all this problem. Why I can't they stand? As a leaders to defend their, 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 their people. Rather, you are ready to kill their people to please the, the, the Northerners. Northerners can never kill their, uh, the, their son to, to give you to please you. So I don't know the, the kind of cowards leader we have, the kind of shaking hearted leaders we have. So river stage or data stage. I, I, I know, I know most of the uh, the the, the, the uh, uh, Delta people, I know they, they will stand them to fight all, all those things. They will not allow them. So our leaders, I'm still begging them. They should stand as a man to fight for their rights. The way Otto, ben, uh, ben State Governor Otto is fighting, they should stand and, and fight. Did they follow uh, Otto? Did they follow him? No, they did not follow him. And people recognize him, people respect him. But other governor today they will say this, tomorrow they will say this, tomorrow they will say another thing. Tomorrow they will, I don't know the kind of confused leaders we have. They are so foolish. They are not even foolish. So thank you very much, my brother. Yeah, that is the person of uh, Tamuna McDonald from our Creek. Uh, before I will give the microphone to the son of IPOB, I want to correct an impression that uh, uh, McDonald made. You know, we don't have to beg them. If, if you pay them for tomorrow, they are not going to change. We all know that. We are just trying to make Biafrans across the globe to know the doings in the land of Biafran land, as we are saying right now. Uh, the, the way the useless people who call themselves governors and cylinders and the uh, Indigwe and the rest of the idiots are trying to sell us, you know, in a platform of uh, pizza and donor. So that is why we are here trying to let them know, not even telling the governor to, they will never do nothing. Uh, is governor, the useless, I won't call that you know, governor, the useless winky. I hate to call that man name. If I tell you that man, they best me. If I see him for you, I will forget my for you, Belle. How many years for you? Not past two years, three years, I don't come out. Um, you know, they see governor when they fight full and yes, man. The same full and yes, man, not being mass, they can't and IPOB they fight. But he uh, he was a part of the people that that put money together to make sure that now the canon was extraordinarily rendered from Kenya down to the zoo contract of Nigeria. You know, this is how foolish he is. He, he is that much you know, he's a smelly. Dirty, flitty rag, and I don't want to even talk about him. You see, he's, a, he's an idiot. It is left for the people, the you, to take their destiny, the kingdom of of God that God has given to them into their hands, or they shall face destruction because it is that destruction or we survive. Because we IPOB, we are not going to tolerate any type of uh, uh, and let us look up. No, 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 no. We are either we we'll destroy the land or we build the land. It is two things. Enough of all this rubbish. It's going to set very soon, and when it sets. Those of you talking rubbish, when you go here, sound of gone. Either you go and lie down at your bedroom, and that's it. And we are not trying to even tell you, like, oh, if you like, complain to hell, to hell with your complaint. After how many complaints have you complained about Fulani has been killing you? Fulani has been asking for land. Can I get a free land in that state? Can I get a free land in that state? Can I? I can't get a free land in that state. I have to go and walk and walk, 
work my ass off and 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 and, and, and go and buy land. And full and and getting a platform of some useless idiot in data states, some useless fools in so called nigger data. You say, eh, eh, well, nah, they can't, uh, oh, I POP, oh, this one now. I'm mad you got killed, you mad people. I'll go to the next person, son of IPOB from there. You go to me, go to, please take the microphone. Oh, he be from Utunuki. Thank you, my brother McDonald, for, for your contribution. And uh, also, thank you, my brother. You do do for your good work and everything. I also thank all the comrades. Like uh, to me, it's not a new thing, and it's not a. Sh I'm, I'm not surprised because the last time they sent a letter to him that they need to give them land and everything. This is what this 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 is where this is the mission you have ac uh, uh, accomplished. He has completed all his mission by giving the 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 useless animal lungs. You know, before doing all this, they all gang up to arrest our leader. They know that if it like they know that uh, if our leader was around, they know this thing cannot happen. It can never happen. Our leader will never we never allow this to happen. That land full of new will never take over. You know, so this is why they were waiting for them to gang up and uh, they kidnap our leader. And uh, you know, so now he have he have uh, you know sir, he have uh, he, ha he has uh, do the work of his master, the Fulani Janja Wade. You see this, you see all this governor. You know, my brother. I you know I don't say too much. You see all these governors. We will use them to to clean to clean up the land. We will use their blood. The time is coming. All these governors. We will hunt, hunt, hunt all of them down. We will use their blood to clean the whole Biafra land. That is the that is the purification of the land. We will use their blood to do the sacrifice to clean all the all the atrocity that will be committed in, the, in our land. All these governor, they know when the time comes. All of them will go. They will go inside. They will never leave. They will never. They, my brother, see, a time is coming. We, we will give them war. And the time is now. You see all these governors. We don't need to spare their life. We need to wipe them out. Wiping them out, full and will run away because they will not have anybody to call again. Ah, I want you to do this for me because they, because all their servants have been killed. Enough is off, enough, enough of all this bullshit. You know, how can you be giving a full and a land and your own people? You can never give them a land. And like what you said, my brother, I do do. If you want to get a land from a data state, and you you need to purchase it, you need to buy. But you are giving a, a land to a full that is not from your that, that that is not from your relative. You never you, as a, a full army who came from Fort Ajalon, Sahel. You know this is why this is why you know we miss our leader in these few days because uh, we know that any moment for now we'll be back and uh, everything will be cool because they know that uh, only one order. The zoo will be shaking, and we will implement this order, which is which has been implemented. You see, you see, data state will never be, will never be comfortable for uh, what is it called uh, for uh, uh, this Goa. useless Okowa. Okay, we never be comfortable for him. You see those lands, we will take, we will, we will take those lands back. It is our land. We will never give them single because you, you can see the threat they gave to him. When they sent him uh, those letters, they told him that uh, you you need to give us land, you need to give us this, give us that, give us that. Now they have concurred to their to their demand, but it is time we, the owner of the land, to let them know that enough is enough. Eye for an eye, teeth for teeth for teeth. That is just it, my brother. This time it will be bloody, bloody, bloody. What I'm suggesting, what I'm saying now that all these governors, we need to be killing them one after the other. Because if we keep leaving these animals, they will keep doing the worst. Okay? If you go for, let's go for investigation, down deep investigation, you will see that all these governors, they are all involved in the, in the, in the arrest of our leader, of which we know that they are involved. We don't need to spare their life. All of them, we need to wipe them out. Use their blood to clean up the land. Enough is enough, my brother. 
there are children are living abroad living large uh, living living in a seven star hotel living large in dubai we are here we are suffering no brother we need to sit down use a, we need to calculate with our medulla brancanta this iroro we need to go and face those people once and for all enough is enough we can't take it anymore those government we need to wipe them out enough is enough Oh, hey, Biafra, uh, oh, hey, Biafra, we move to the next comrade, the person of Asimba Solomon. I hope you are ready. I think it was Asimba Solomon. Thank you very much. <clears throat> um, let us be sincere with ourselves. You see, these governors we have, we don't expect those women, those pampas wearers to stand like man. You that is broadcasting here, you know you are more broke. Brutal than the governor. They are all women married to Fulani Fatajalo, slave. You know, I hate men become slave because of money or become slave for something that you are supposed to be controlling. Two, three individuals start threatening you. You sold your, you know, when man cannot stand to withstand anything that comes away. He always live in the messes of others. That is what our governor is. They are the one controlling the wealth. They are the one that the old oil and the old resources coming out from the house. If they put themselves together to say enough is enough, no, today I'm not going to give you. Today this percentage will be going to you, you full and you know, it will stand. Because they are not man enough. That's why small mate here like a small boy can come together and say, you must give me land. And Okowa will go and give him land, the land that is not key for the four masses. You understand? That to make sure he make his slave, his masters happy. But unfortunately, boys are not smiling. The truth of the matter. If Okowa is a man, let it come out on the night. Let it reach on the night. If you know you are really a man, you are a governor. Come out. Because you are not a governor. You are a boy. That's why you stay at home or you stay in your, in your net. I know our people will fight. And this governor, <laughs> no, you don't even know. They knew. This thing you are saying, the governor knew. You know why they are fighting against Biafra? They know when Biafra come, some of them will go and seek asylum in Dubai. Even in Saudi Arabia, they knew all these things. That's why they are fighting to turn it. Let me tell you, the problem of Biafra is the governor of Biafra. It's not, and it's not Fulani Janjawi because they knew the consequences. All this atrocity they have committed, they know we we'll use their blood to pay for it. They we we'll use them. Their children, children will pay for it. So for that reason, that's why they are fighting against the freedom of Biafra. How can you just give people land when you did not when you did not have land? You want to steal people and sacrifice and satisfy people. Imagine that kind of audacity. Can you come to Germany and just go and meet Ajilamanko to give you land? Ajilamanko will tell you, go and purchase land. Go and buy land. Go and pass the procedure. You understand? The governor will just come that is the one that have land. Just take people's traditional land. Impunity and give to the uncircumcised uh, Philistines, eh? To to be using the land, and at the end they will be killing the people. I saw the protest where they are protesting in Delta State. The governor, <laughs> I'm gonna meet you. And in this race, <laughs> you will understand very soon. You will understand because you are a governor. You are using the impunity of governor. Do you know it's step by step? When we say we have a step by step, you have caught our leader, yes, and you know you will not be saved because our leader, you have breached the law. And since you have breached the law and they can breach you off, it's still the law because you are the one that does obey law. Because normally in a war, you don't have to kill leader, you don't have to hold leader. Now you have hold the leader, they can breach you and hold you. It's because you have already breached the law of war. You understand? Time is coming. The governor Okowa did not give him his father ass in Agbo. He did not give him his ass in, in Azuawa. I know Okowa used to stay in Azuawa. He did not give them his ass in Azuawa. Then he went to go and be giving people ass in uh, in uh, um, in Ikwale. Eh? 
people's land in Ukwale. Imagine that kind of in, in that kind of that kind of impunity. It's an atrocity. It's a criminal act because it's a governor. He cover it up. It's not a criminal. Which kind of? It's a criminal. He did not pass through the land process to consult those people if they really want these people to stay close to them. So our people should be steadfast and work towards the Biafra struggle. When we get Biafra or we enter the, the stage we are, is an autopilot stage, which law does not work. It's a gradual process. That time, the governor will start running. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Before I hand over the microphone to the person of uh, Comrade Onajite, you know, you know, uh, although uh, I'm not, I used to be a Christian and I don't do that anymore. Because Christian is no more a fashionable religion right now. Even when you are crying, you are killing Christian. Nobody will even look at you. Now you have to belong to where people, you know, value you. That is why I'm an IPOB. I'm a Biafra. And that is my religion. Where if I cry out that somebody is oppressing me as a Biafra, everybody will rise up and stand against it. There were, but I'll still listen to prophecy of pastors and prophets when, when they give a genuine prophecy. And uh, I saw some and uh, that they have said that come to pass the way exactly how they said it. And it's not because they are Christians or pastors that made them to see those visions. Naturally, there are some people who are born with the gift of prophecy. It doesn't have to do if you are emotionally a Christian. While we, you know, bypass that. But what was the prophecy? The prophecy was done by King Leo Elijah. He said that he saw a parallel government. He saw a parallel government in the contractual con Nigeria. You know what's called a parallel government? A government is a government. That is where Nigeria is heading to right now. There's going to be chaos. Let me tell you something. If you are a pastor, you are a bishop, you are a pope, you are whatever you are, evangelist, you are a Muslim, you are this, you are, you are that, you do Allah, you, are, you, are, you have to pray. You have to pray. You have to also work to make sure that and protect that Muslim they cannot be released as soon as possible. If not, some of you will not even live to even live in Nigeria. Because starting from on the night, a lot of people are going to be going there. It's not, it's, I'm not going to do the killing. Nigeria government is going to be coming to be killing some innocent people. And at the end of the day, if they try that rubbish, them themselves will be going down too. Because ESA is not going to take any type of rubbish from any idiot, all in the name of one Nigeria. You can't come to Biafra and begin to dance someone. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any type of sense. And I'm also using this opportunity to also tell all these useless, uh, I don't, let me not call them useless yet. You think that you are, you are the uh, president that uh, always in our land. And injustice is going on in our land. And you are a uh, depot, you, you have your churches all over Biafra land. You are, uh, what is your call? You hear that for, you have your churches all over Biafra land. And you just think that, the Christians who are paying tight and awfully coming to make sure your church is growing, they are killing them in just impunity of impunity upon their life upon their lives. You say nothing and you think all those your rubbish will still be in. See, we're not going to take all those kind of rubbish, too. we're not going to take all those kind of rubbish because it is it will be getting there. And see, when you go to talk, eh, we'll put the gale for a year, we'll knock the gale for a year, we'll not the year. It is going to be like it's going to it's going to be horrible for everybody. We're gonna knock the gale for a year. Like, like are you going to demonize IPOB? Oh, IPOB, are this, they have called us terrorists already, isn't it? Foolish people. I will give the microphone to Nagite. Please take the mic. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, you know, talking about all these pastors, uh, you know, for their mind now, say they don't escape our roads. And for um, the mind of the zoo that um, IPOB will be busy, you know, discussing some kind of... Um, on, on on serious elements or uh, discussing some kind of serious issues within the IPOB family. But um, the fact remains that uh, we are coming for every one of them. Be you um, governor, be you uh, pastor, Adeboye, Oyedepo, and Co. We are coming for all of you. We are all coming for all of you. Because the time, it will get to a time even if we don't come for you, the full and they will come for you. The only blocking stone that is still holding Nigeria to be Islam, Islam, Islamized today is Mazen Amdikani. And this blocking stone is the same stone that will roll Biafra into our freedom. Because we, as a people, we will never be part of all this rubbish you are doing. And for the person of Okoa, whatever you are doing, you can give land to full and Janjawi, even if they ask for 50 million acres. Give it, if I, already they told you that they are coming to Delta State to take over, to take over Delta, Delta State. They have said that before, so it is not, 
I don't even think it is news or us to be discussing full and in collecting tax acres. It will now seem as if they are not in Delta State. What they have in Delta State is no more than 30 acres. What the Fulani Janja we had in Delta State, they own all our forests. They own every part of our forest, including the area that we are fishing. They go there, they take their, uh, their, their cow there to, 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 to feed them with waters. So we are, uh, our land is, uh, is already occupied by the Fulani Janja. We say here uh, within 30 acres, we need to, it seems as if they are asking. These people never ask, they take from us. And they take it because we are stupid and we are very, every ethnicity in Delta State, they are very as useless as they can. <laughs> they are all useless, every ethnicity. So, and we, that we know what is good for us, we, that we have seen the other side of the story, we, that we have known the strategy and the pattern of the evil ones, we are saying no to this. Not just saying no, we are also backing it up with an action. So we will back it up to the last, so you kill the last person of us. And we can assure you that we grow because until you kill the whole of your people, until you kill the whole Robo people, until you kill the whole Izo people, and the, the Sekiri, the Annam, the Efi, the Toma, and until you kill every one of us before we will give up. Until you kill every one of us. Even if you leave our children to live, you must kill us and kill our children. Because if you leave them to live, of course, they will ask. They will ask questions, and they and, and they will like to hear the story how their how their parents were killed. Just the way we, we are we are seeking and we are researching for stories how our parents were killed today. So don't think if you kill one, you you will you will tap on our morale, or if you home as an American, you will do any or or you will escape with anything. Like I said before, I believe nothing will happen to Mazin and Mikano. And I believe the zoo themselves, they know that they are holding their life because that is the reason why if Mazen Amkan is still alive, means that you will still be alive. Was anything happened to Mazen Amkan, I can assure you, no living being will, will live to tell the story in the zoo. Even those of you who, who ran out of the country, I'm even pitying your, your neighboring country, especially the idiot, the Benin Republic, having guns to see all sorts of go. I, I, pity, I pity all these animal kingdom around you. All these little, little zoo cage around you. I pity them. Because they too, they are going to pay among the price. They will pay everything in this, in this very price. Because we will make sure that nobody has time to shoot gun anymore. Nobody has time to shoot gun. Shooting gun, I mean, you go talk that say they prolong before you go to they go say uh, with the fight for one year, with the fight for two years. We go kill everybody. The Afrans go die, all to do I go die. But no living being go, go exist. No living being for the for, for the full and that we will go live, go live to tell the story. So before you start it, just think, just think deep. Because zoo, uh, uh, the Britain where they push you. The Britain, when they push you, when they give you mind, when you go set, they're not going to do because already we have lost everything. Because this war is, 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 is either we perish or we win it. I can assure you, it is either we perish or we win this very war. Sorry, my people, as I said, I'm not feeling fine. But we have to do the needful. We have to do the needful, and that is the reason why we are here. Until we have, until we cannot breathe again before we can stop this job. Before we can stop what we are doing because this attached to our life. So those of you who are hiding on the, under the umbrella of either you be a uh, zoo government, you be a uh, full and Janja with uh, governor, you be uh, religious uh, oppressors, you be uh, traditional oppressors, whatever area you are playing your ball from however you are playing the game from i can assure you all i will all to do a brother and say make that, you, make that they pray make that they pray because if anything should happen to Mazin and Mikano, none of us will live to tell the story none of us will live to tell the story and i can assure us i can assure us we thank god say we not even listen to, to some people advice because if not, the story for we for those who say, ah, if this if anything could happen to this man, 
what to go happen. We want to think of what to go happen or the hope on uh, the leadership too. Because if anything happens to Mazel and Bikano, every everybody gonna say dog. That is my dog full inside POB. Well, so now even in Namikano, they tie them. Now, I don't know saying that Namikano they take care of both crazy people and people where we We did different type, we did different category inside POB. So any other way you want them. The only thing that is good for you is to make sure that nothing happens to Mazen and Mikano. Because if anything happens to him, nobody will feel control us again. And nobody will feel control us again. So make you ready. As your goat, you fall, you fall beside your animal. As your dog, you fall, you fall beside that. And I can assure you guys that uh, he's not good. He's not good there for me. Because even Britain, Britain don't know. He know he not go be separate us. He know they not know who be who. We did inside you. You did inside us. Not the one Nigeria. You, you say you say we be. No worry. We will show you how how one Nigeria goes. This touch him and become first. Of course, we are still under the leadership of the 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 uh, the, 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 the 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 DOS. We are listening. We are obeying the command and the control, and we are doing this for of course. But let anything happen to Mazen and Bikano. Let us hear that our ear. That's how you're going to say, devil, no being victim. So let me just leave it there. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, my comrade Najiti. Trust me, I will say you spoke my mind. Uh, should I say you elevated my spirit uh, right away with some of the words you, you threw already. And uh, I want to also, you know, add to it with what I wanted to say after you drop your mic. Uh, you know, I make sure the, what do they call it, cleric men or clergy men. And I hear you English every day because of this struggle. All these um, the, um, the prophets and uh, apostles and the rest of the bishops. Would they tell on now, what is your work as a leader? What is your work as a leader? Be you a traditional leader, political leader, or a religious leader. What is your work? Your work is to make sure that the vicinity, the, 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 the towns and villages, the community, the state and country you are living in justice just sorry to say it's justice in base of to the people and when justice when injustice is prevailing and you didn't even say anything and you call yourself a leader you didn't say anything now the people who are should i say subjected to you according or should i say allegedly they are not crying to you pitch up oh yeah that power pitch up oh pastor devil you oh kumu you beacon oh full of need a killer so we know if they go far more you are reading the bible every day you refuse to hack into the voice of all these people and now only one man Mazna de Kano, the great leader of the indigenous people of biafra rose up god raised him and equipped him equipped him to come and deliver his people from the land of egypt and bring them to the land of biafra land the present canaan and now Nigerian Janjaway government that is killing the people is still fighting him. And you useless, so-called useless leaders are saying nothing. And you are collecting tithe and offering from our land. Fulani are killing us in that same land. You are not speaking. And now you think if something happened to Nandi Nakano, <laughs> Ahmad Yoga kill you. Ahmad Yoga kill you. It, there was a word uh, on Ajite say, say, <laughs> you put you pray, nothing happened to him because uh, the escalation, the escalation, the escalation. We talk about uh, 500, uh, 5 million Biafra that died, right? This time around, we, I people, we don't owe anybody apology. We say Biafra or dead. You see that Biafra or dead because we don't want to live without Biafra. We cannot be living as perpetuously under full and Some useless people are calling their debtor, debtor, we, 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 stupid, stupid set of people. We are not going to take that kind of rubbish. You better they pack your church now. You go pack. You go pack and go north. That's why I'm. We are calling on you people to make sure that in your own position as a pastor, make a what's it called can meeting and look into the issue and also throw a voice to the useless Nigerian government to trend with caution because you're not going to be funny. You're not going to funny you now. Bazooka now you're not going to see big 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 everywhere. You're not going to see rocket. It is not like uh, if you're talking to a man, it's a church. Church for me said that they kid the church people. They not they talk. Church where they, they kill the church people, they know they talk. The church is, so, is supposed to they exist. Church for me say that they, they kill your own church people, that they, they rape your own church people, that they, they prevent your own church people from going to their farm. The people me say that they, they pay tithe of offering. Me say they use a fly of private jet, that they, they kill them, kill them. You know they talk. You say we be fool. That church not go exist. So if I'm gonna come to the cousin, I want the money. I feel be. 
No, I'm not going to talk past the one person across uh, the uh, Sorry, sorry, Dudu. Let me let me just take one minute to quickly educate all this um Izu um church or Izu one Nigeria. Um there is something I want to say here. Even the Bible don't make them clear. Say you see that building, not the church. That building uh it, it not being the church. Now you where they go the building and you be the church. So you need to understand that one first because by the time when they come that building then. All those big business business centers where they open everywhere, they as they 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 loot us. They loot us, men men. By the time we're gonna start to visit all those buildings, it will shock you. Not be church of God with the attack. If you be good person, nobody will touch you. If you don't swell your hand into bribery, into evil, you don't sell your brother to collect money for pocket. You don't sell your brother because of position. And let me remind you, do you hear what the, uh, the Northern has said? They said, uh, 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 let, let me quote them right. Let me quote them right. Uh, let's say, I don't, I, I don't miss them here. For me to quote them right, uh, the Northern has said, the South should not think maybe they can, uh, they can take the presidency from them because they have the population. They have the population. And they are ready to produce the next president in 2023. So what till you they kill yourself, kill your people for? They sell your people. I never understand that now. Or you think say this not and they they like that's where go where go this position give you. You think so? Me say your the way where we even just say you mumurish your mumu was passed like that. So let me say it very clear uh, loud and clear. You are uh, you are the church. So church we're good. We go leave them there. Church, we're not good. We don't need that. We don't need any, any. In fact, we are coming to abase our land. That is what we are coming to do. We take the good fruit, we keep them outside. While we carry the uh, 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 the shaft, we put them, burn them to ashes. So now you go decide. Maybe you won't become good fruit to your people, or you won't become the shaft. So maybe you get sense. The earlier is, is better. Because when we go come for you, anything will make you let us stress to that extent. Anything will make you stretch us to that extent. It's not about I beg and uh, they do something for secret. Anything when they do something for secret, it not concern us. It not concern us. If you don't say enough, you support us in open. Even if you know they do anything, if you don't say enough, you support. No, come outside, come castigate what we they do. You better keep it forever. Because anything where you talk, since when this struggle don't begin, we go use them against you. And when there's no country say maybe the time of harvest go start, they say there is no repentance after death. There is no repentance when the trumpet trump prepared blow. The day when you die, and your trumpet blow. So you don't go repent that day. So maybe you get sense as early as possible. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh... Comrade Onajite, I will hand over the microphone to uh, Kingsley Ohaka. But before that, let me make this one a very straight line. Any church for Biafra land, full of need a rape, full of need a key, full of need a rape, full of need a key, full of need to destroy our crop. And you know, as a pastor, as a prophet, as a bishop, as an apostle, as an evangelist, to make the case very easy and small, may not be like say we do propaganda. The people of LMA in River State, they came, the women, they came naked. They blocked the road, holy cassava leaf, flogging on the ground. Fulani are raping us, Fulani are killing us. Governor, what's it called? The useless idiot in River State. That one that looked like someone that have Ebola. He didn't say anything. Why? But you pastors, you are there reading the Bible, open to the book of Ezekiel. Eh? Why your people who are coming to your church, they are killing them, right? You are a fool. All this, there is no church of God. That we keep quiet and watch injustice prevail. So any church that is keeping mute, not even support Biafra, not support us. Support your own Nigerians. Full and are killing your own Nigerians. Support them. Call the government that they are killing people. Let, let there be awareness. You are doing nothing. You think you will have that kind of demonic church in our land? It's not going to be possible. If you like, go and start your propaganda to demonize, to demonize, uh, demonize us. Go and start it too, because we are equal to the task. We are ready. We are ready to perish or restore Biafra. It is that, that that's just it. We are not yet to even pop our with any type of idiot. We are pushed to the wall. We are being pushed to the wall. Mr. Abu Tonani, can man call push church? Because they will put to God punish you, idiots. I go to the person of uh, 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 
let me I my comrade please take the microphone yeah yeah uh, thank you my brother uh you see uh this uh janja weight and the uh, zoo government they don't know that the only person that is uh, protecting that country is uh, nandekaro our leader you can imagine when uh, the south south southern governors had meeting in a data state our leader commanded commend them he thanked the governors for having such a meeting in order to unite themselves but our leader did not know that that is, a, is the place where they did the meeting and contributed money to kidnap him that is to tell you that the good the the, the good that our leader did they always pay him with evil also when uh, uh Ocalo and so many other people in from from south we are being attacked by efcc and other agency to close down their business our leader spoke and protected them but he didn't know our leader didn't know that these people are contributing money people like yes we and other people in order to make sure that they kidnap him or assassinate him people that they, he is fighting for in order to protect them even when the fulani are uh, invaded so many other places in biafra land our leader protected the women and the, everybody around there to make sure that our land is safe despite our people died in the process of protecting the land they did not see those things that our leader did that reminds me about this church everybody is a christian i talking here today i know the level of christianity i've been but today i have turned to a soldier i am now a soldier of ipob and i know that i know that i have no regret about it and a soldier of god a soldier of biafra and if anything happened to anybody in biafra land Either those, like uh, I have heard that uh, Assemblies of God, they were saying that uh, uh, anybody that uh, involved himself in IPOB, I don't know how truth is that, because some people are saying it's false. Anybody that involved himself in uh, IPOB, that that person is, uh, they would, they would uh, disassociate him or something of that nature. You can see the level of uh, illiteracy that some people can be. be that Janja would uncircumcised people, uncircumcised Philistines are killing your people. Even in the north, they are closing, burning down churches, Boko Haram burning down churches, killing Christians. And the same, the same church that are crying that they are killing their Christian, their people in the north and even in the south, they are the same people saying that uh, they will associate with the such person. You see how le the level of impunity these people that is to tell you that. They don't love themselves. And I want to pass a message that IPOB are soldiers of God. And anybody that die in our hand will send that person straight to heaven. And God cannot judge us about that. Because the cause they have laid to the children of God now has is passing back to them for them to test the meal they've cooked for the children of God. I want to tell them that they don't know God. David in the Bible stood up when uh, Goliath was, was confronting the children of Israel. David came as, as, to, as a sacrifice lamb to make sure that he liberates the people of Israel. And uh, that was a great challenge. No matter how little David was, David stood and fight Goliath and killed Goliath. And this is what IPOB stands for. Except few pastors in that zoo that are saying good about IPOB. The rest people kept news because they, 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 they felt that they, 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 if you kill or you, if you involve yourself in a struggle, that is an abomination to them. But God is a God of war. God is a god of war and god raises men to fight 
And even God, if God raised you, if you don't want to fight, he will raise stones to fight. What we are doing today, we are not doing it by our own self. Many of us have been confronted in their dream, in their, in their, in their secret place, to come and join this IPOB uh, uh, movement. And our leader, who God has sent to liberate our people, the Moses of our time, yet they don't value him. They still want to kill him. He will not die. Instead of him to die in this struggle, all of us will perish. We will, we will sink everybody in, in, in the ground. Because many people have died in our, in our, in our zone. People like uh, Ken Sarawiwa, they killed him. People like uh, uh, Abiola and so many other people, heroes. Uh, even uh, Adaka Boro. These are people that died yeah. for this they, they killed Adaka Boro. They killed Abiola. They killed Sarawiwa. They even killed yes. Adele Giwa. My yes. Brother, my brother. So many of us. Don't be my hero. All those on that foolish so, people. Yes, yes, I, I know. Be my hero. They'll be foolish people for our I, zone. I know. I, I know what I'm saying. Yes, they are, they, they are not but our heroes. But they, they have, they really, let, they, they let it. Yes, they let it to happen. Even when they are, when, when Biafra have no reason. Even when the when Biafra war, the first war happened, many of them betray Biafra. So today, Biafra has risen again, and we have seen our enemies. And this time around, no pity. We will not spare anything because we've known where our, our the mistake has been occurred. The problem we had in the, that struggle was saboteurs, and we want to treat them. We want to treat the sabo all the saboteurs from every corner of Biafra land. Either you come from Igedeo, you come from Ejo, you come from Ikwero, you come from anywhere. We will treat you like a saboteur because you are the one delaying this Biafra to come. And at the end of the day, Biafra will come. And our leader, Mazinan Kalu, joined this, this battle, which he promised us that he will be at the forefront. So um, I, there is nothing that will happen to our leader. He is there confronting the enemies. He is there, all the whole ancestors in our land, all the, all the spirits in our land are backing him up, and nobody can kill him. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. So thank you. Thank he you, said, my brother. He said, he said, so we are rounding up, about to round up. Um, I want to, before we say everybody should get, if you, you know, it is left for you because, you know, we have a lot of foolish people in Biafra land. Yes, I, I will say it. Those idiots that are looking at IPOB, oh, IPOB, they are trying to distance themselves from IPOB. You are a very foolish person. Okay. And uh, this time we don't even have any option that to do what we are doing. And we don't have any type of apology store somewhere to give to any idiot. Uh, this is how it is. What we are doing, why we don't owe anybody apology is this. You as a pastor, bishop, prophet, and the rest of them. You as a king, you as a governor, senator, and the rest of them. It is your duty to protect us. You are not protecting us. Then we are going to take that protection by force. That's what we are going to do. And that's what we are doing right now. Okay? That is what we are doing. And that was a, oh, oh, are you trying to, you know, force your ideology on us? Go and ask your governors and senators why they are not protecting us. And we cannot fold our hands and look. And our women, our mothers, our daughters, and our girlfriends, our wife will be raped. All because we want to even suit your sentiments. Even our emotions, they don't rape them too. Just, just imagine. And slaughtering Please. and killing our people. Hey, brother, yeah. there, is some, there is somebody that said, uh, uh, if anything you up. I they hate me that they see all this kind of comments. I they hate me that they see all this kind of comments. Either maybe on this platform or elsewhere. What was the comment? He said, uh, if anything should happen to my and become uh, the zoo, we see hell. There's nothing like hell. Nothing will happen not... to him. Wait, listen. This is not about okay. hell. If anything happened to him, and become the zoo, we exist no more. Including you when they write hell. Everybody go die. Because yeah. if you can become a feel die. Nobody deserves to live inside that contraption. Bam, bam, bam. That is why you see. That is that is why I foul blow, foul blow. This you see, foul blow. There, there is no foul blow for street fights. Street fight, all blown are blown. Anywhere where he touch, he touch. If my brother friend he touch, he touch. So nothing like that. Exactly. Like the zoo will see. The zoo will never exist again. Exactly. That is why I took my time to spit it out to the so-called clergic men, men of God, that it is your duty now they are killing the people who are paying your tithe and offering. 
you are not saying anything. The only man that came to see some to come and defend the people, they have paid money to extraordinary redditor him from Kenya to Nigeria. And you people are sticking quiet and you think you'll be reading uh, verse chapter two, verse four. It's not gonna happen, no. With the tell the year now, it's not go happen. It not go happen. If you think that Biafra land is all about reading the Bible and the people that they are reading the Bible paying the tithe, they will be killed. And you, the pastor, telling them to open Ezekiel 2 verse 4, you will not say anything. It not go happen, no. It not go happen. So to this note, we are about to round up. Before I hand over the microphone to any comment, I want to make any statement. Please, oh, if you like, oh, it is all for you. If you have money, go and get AK-47. Go and get it. And get at least, get magazine up to five. Keep them. Because it will be horrible. It will be horror. If you want to die for nothing, you will die for nothing. I rest my kids here. You don't even need to, you you know, even need to uh, stress yourself when you get AK-47. Just carry any amount with you and even at 50k. 50k only you go, you go be bring down a uh, full police station. Go arrange mock uh, mocktail with maybe let her day with cover. Only you go be bring just they arrange the crate as you arrange while you put a crate upon crate. They arrange them the day where you go set. Only you go be only you want to be build, bring down one full police station. So it's not about maybe you not know, be by God say me you get God. If that got class you get carry supporter. Enter your backyard. Those places are for the do that me. I and understand. But, yeah, so, I know, but I know, but that gun is also very important. I, I, for my side, I, I now, need them. I need them. So now, it's left for you to get your gun. We, we want it. everybody to get it, but not everybody that will get. And if you can't get it, if you can't, if you can't afford it, no god inside the Afrian land. Even the road beggars, they can afford a a mountain that just do a put kerosene. If you feel use petrol, use petrol. So with the very... one of now, now, all these pastors, with the with the with the joke, with the one on now, we're not gonna feel your death for our land. They read Bible, they're gonna kill us, and not gonna talk. The only person when they talk, they arrest and keep quiet. You know they happen, no, we're not gonna pack oh. At boy, go and start buying uh, all the media, uh, channels, TV, so that they will they will, they will not reactivate to demonstrate the Afra. My brother, you, you my brother, I believe you guys can remember what our leader said before uh, when he was uh, on the pro he was in program with uh, Sam Epa. He said the time will come, they know that he is coming back and he will bring hell to the zoo. So this things like this, we need to prepare, and there is a war we must do. You see all these churches, all these churches will go on flame, we go up in flames. We not get you. Church will not we'll get go you. People they pay your head and offer you, they're gonna kill them. You know, talk. These people don't know what they come at all. They don't know what they come. Oh, yeah, yeah. We round up. Yeah. Thank you very much, comrades. Thank you very much. Thank you, lovers of freedom. Yeah, by this time next week, of course, we came late today. But by next week, 5 p.m., we'll be here live and direct. 5 p.m. Uh, 5 p.m. Um, I think 4 p.m. Biafra uh, land. Yeah, yeah, 4 p.m. Biafra time. time. So uh, we'll be live here and direct, um, doing what we know how to do best. All he'll be after. All he'll be after. Sit at home.